Hey from Mike Strongly here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this gradient wipe. So this is a nice, simple transition wiping from one side to the other side. The normal gradient wipe that is actually inside of Premiere Pro, it's not really that nice. So if I'm going to show you the normal gradient wipe, it's like this. So this is the normal gradient wipe. And you see it has this weird texture on it instead of being like this nice smooth wipe from one side to the other side. So that's not that nice. And like a normal wipe, it, you don't have like a feather effect. So this is like a normal wipe and we can actually put this into an angle. However, this doesn't have like any uh, yeah, feathering here to get like the effect that we shown we need to also put this in layer on top here and here we want to go like at least make it like a slow effect you can make it faster but i like this gradient wipe to be slightly for like slower moving videos so we're going to hold down shift and arrow from this side uh, five times so one two three four five so we jumped like 25 frames and from here I'm just going to do a cut command K on my Mac and here inside of effects we're going to search for linear wipe so this is inside of the video effects and then transition and not under video transition because this is a different kind of transition uh, effect. So we're going to drag this into this clip and this clip we're going to drag under here because we're going to wipe from this clip to her here. From here, we just need to teach you about what linear wipe does. So linear wipe actually does like a wipe effect. However, the great thing is we have a feather under here. So we can feather this to quite a big extent. Personally, I think this on setting 800 is enough to have like a very smooth feathering. So we're going to drag this to zero and put, move this over here. We're going to add a toggle animation. So it adds a keyframe from here. We add a keyframe on the end and we're going to drag this to 100. So now we can actually see this gradient blur. However, now it's just straight from left to right. But we can also put this into an angle. So here we have like a wipe angle and we can actually change that angle. So personally, I find it's the easiest to have like this uh, timeline in the middle and we can actually now rotate this so I find that looks quite interesting so we can see at least her face like double for a few seconds or like for a few frames I'm not making a preset for this because this is just one effect with like a very few um, minor things you have to adjust and pretty much these settings uh, can also differ from your clip, like which angle you're going to use it and fits your style. So that was mainly it. Hopefully you guys find this video quite educational. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button here below and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye bye.